Hey, so spoilers for Evangelion and Chainsaw Man, you've been warned. So you guys have, you know, heard of the Bible. It's one of those uh, popular books the kids are reading these days. And one of the things about the Bible is it's probably the most referenced book in human history. And so understanding the Bible is really important to understanding literally any piece of literature. And this isn't going to be a Bible lesson today, like don't worry about that. But I do want to talk about the Bible's influence on media, and especially let's go over its influence on anime uh, from a past series, Evangelion, and also Chainsaw Man today. So there's a lot of debate among Evangelion fans on whether or not the symbolism in Evangelion actually means anything, because the creators have come out and basically said no, it's just for aesthetics, but a lot of people read into it and try to draw those connections. But in my opinion, this is sort of a failure of analysis, like just because something has a cross doesn't make something really Christian, it just means that it has Christian aesthetics. I think when we're thinking about if something is really influenced by Christianity, we have to draw more direct parallels between Christianity and the work we're analyzing. Because in general, there are going to be a lot of parallels between a lot of stories, and if you're looking for something, you're going to find it. But you have to ask yourself, what is the allusion to Christianity actually saying? And in my opinion, the allusion to Christianity in Evangelion isn't saying a whole lot. It just kind of is present as an aesthetic. But you couldn't say that like, oh, you know, Mark or John, you know, those books of the Bible are parallels to what Shinji is going through and it has this meaning. I don't really think you can do that. And I think that people that make those connections don't actually understand the biblical text, frankly. I think a lot of the problem is that when you're in high school, you get sat down and they tell you, oh, if someone is reborn, that's a Jesus figure. If they do something after three days, it's a Jesus figure. And identifying a Jesus figure is honestly uninteresting. Like, that is, to me, a Jesus aesthetic. What you actually have to say is, like, what about this character makes the Jesus parallel interesting? There are lots of characters that rise from the dead. There are lots of characters that do magic stuff. There are lots of characters that do a lot of things that Jesus did. So if you're going to compare it to Jesus, like, actually make the argument, why does the Christian context, specifically the Christian context, actually enhance this media? In my opinion, Evangelion, you can't really make that argument. Not, not really. So Pachita is Jesus, right guys, right? Pachita is Jesus, yeah, let's let's go with that. So here's one such example of a Bible Chainsaw Man theory. This was posted on the Chainsaw Man subreddit by a user named Finicky. I'll post their post in the description. But this is an example of why <laughs> Chainsaw Man theories about the Bible are really bad. Like, first of all, the way they align these angels are just like incorrect. For example, thrones is like obviously incorrect. A throne is like an entity of wheels circling around each other that are literally God's throne. How the fuck that has to do with the violence fiend is beyond me. And I could tear each one apart. The only thing it kind of gets right is that the four horsemen of the apocalypse are correct. But again, that's just an aesthetic thing. What does the angels and how trying to like put different characters as a type of angel have to say about Chainsaw Man at all? And some of the other theories are like, Pochita is Jesus because he comes down, judges people like at the end of the apocalypse. And it's like, maybe? But again, what does that actually say about Chainsaw Man in general? Or is it just like a rough illusion with no meaning? If it's a rough illusion with no meaning, then it's just like an aesthetic thing in the same way that Fujimoto references Nostradamus. Nostradamus makes lots of predictions, but is he really saying anything about Nostradamus by bringing him up? Or is it just like, Fujimoto thinks this thing is cool? And there's nothing wrong with bringing something up because you think it's cool, but that doesn't mean it has any literary value. And I think that a lot of the Chainsaw Man fan base want to make the Jesus connection and be like, oh, I'm so big brain. I realize that there's an allusion to Jesus, but really, what, what does that mean? You need to actually finish your thought and synthesize what it actually means for Pochita to be Jesus and why that's meaningful in the context of the story. You can also draw comparisons between any two works. Like you could draw between uh, like the Quran and Chainsaw Man. So you have to make the argument why the Bible specifically is significant to Chainsaw Man more than just the titles of these characters. Maybe there are other works that actually are more significant in influencing Fujimoto and his writing. By the way, thinking of Nostradamus, one of the ways you can tell that you have a good theory is if it has predictive power. And so instead of just trying to like jam literary illusions into a text, try to predict things and see 
which theories predict the future in the series, and that will give you a better idea of what an author's headspace actually is. And so that's what I would recommend going forward if you do want to make these kinds of predictions. So shout out to this commenter, uh, Bob and Robin 777 This is the reason why I moved this video up and made it so fast. And one of the things I like about his version of the theory is that it actually kind of makes sense. And the idea that Chainsaw Man is going to be reborn as Jesus, or like Jesus, and that's going to be like a rebirth of his identity in the same way like Christians are reborn when they accept Jesus. Like that's a naturally interesting way to look at this theory and I hope it happens because it would make this theory a lot more interesting. So good on you for theorizing and thinking of <laughs> ways the series could go. And um, by the way, I, I love reading all of your comments. So please reach out to me or tell me what you want to see more of. Um, I like hearing from you guys and thank you so much. Uh, like and subscribe or whatever I have to ask you to do for the algorithm to be happy. Alright, bye guys.